Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of this car display case set I got from Japan. Um, it retails for about 3300 at C Lab though. Uh, I got it for about 2200 which is about $15 USD. Uh, if you buy it on eBay or so, it's probably around 40 bucks uh, for this set. Uh, maybe more, depending on how scarce it is. But yeah, I'm just, just going to show you what's... Um, what it looks like put together. Um, I already kind of took everything out of the box and slapped everything together. But what came in the box is basically the stand um, and in two different frames. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the frame type. So what I mean by that is um, the way to basically put this together is you have the clear case, the the, the front side piece, the back side clear case, and then you choose between uh, number two or number three. So number two means that you have, um, there's, there's a sleeve included with it, the uh, inner frame it's a little bit bigger, and you fit the card right in the middle. Or number three means you put the card in there without any sort of um, plastic uh, sleeve or anything like that. So you just put the card in there and you kind of sandwich it between the two clear cases and that's basically it. So yeah, you got to choose between two or three. Um, what I try to do is I try to put a um, perfect fit. On my, of my card or sleeve my card in perfect fit and then put it in here and it was a bit of a tight squeeze and I wasn't sure it was going to damage the corners of the card or not uh, so I decided just to go ahead and not put any um, sleeve on the card itself for frame number three and see how that looks and it looks like it works okay um, I'm ho if you don't move the cards around too much um, it shouldn't get any um, any damage or anything on the surface or the back or in the corners uh, so yeah let's see uh, go ahead and see how they look so I got a set of three then I bought three extra ones and I think they look really really great um, so let's start off with the um, I guess the blue eyes is here so I put the blue eyes I got into these so basically as you kind of see these blue eyes cards are not you can kind of see my setup right here in the reflection uh, so the, the blue eyes cards are basically just in there without any sleeves on them. So I mean, I'll bring it up to my little phone over here and kind of see it without too much glare, hopefully. But yeah, so they, they come with a little um, stand and legs. So you can choose between putting these legs on or just um, using the screws. And the legs just, just screw on right here. And then with the extra screw, you can screw it onto the back of the leg. So it's kind of a nice ingenious design um, but yeah I think these cards these stands look pretty cool uh, especially when you had them set up like this um, they, they kind of just stand up looking pretty cool so yeah right here I got three blue eyes let me scoot them over a little bit and then uh, I got the Egyptian god card versions but I didn't have I didn't buy the Egyptian god so I slapped in a couple of Yugi's cards so Dark Magician Girl, and I got uh, regular Dark Magician, and I got my um, Blacklist Soldier that I won as a prize. So see, with the Blacklist Soldier, you can kind of see right here that um, it's got basically the um, the frame here uh, plus the sleeve. So it's a little bit bigger, so there's a bit of a gap around it. So it's to fit the, the, the um, particular uh, sleeves right here. But yeah, it's looking pretty neat right there in the back. So compared to the Dark Magician where there's no sleeve in it, uh, you can see how much wider the um, Black Lesser Soldier is compared to the Dark Magician. And yeah, that's basically really it. Neat little frames. They do scratch a little bit easily. They're kind of like soft plastic, I believe. Um, they catch fingerprints, but I mean, for the price, it's pretty cool just to have this. Um, or you can just slab it you, if you don't want to use it as a stand. You can just take these uh, these off and just slab the uh, the cards in there, and they look would look pretty cool there. But yeah, that's really it. Um, pretty simple, pretty cool. And then on the bottom right there, you obviously got the bit of the Yu-Gi-Oh logo plus the official card game Dual Monsters and their trademarks and whatnot. Um, but that's really it to these things, and I think they're pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you guys next time.